Well, hey guys. Sorry, it's uh, <laughs> I uploaded those um, two messages from God um, on YouTube. So if you're on my YouTube, I apologize. I did the second part behind the first part and um, for some reason, the first part never uploaded until today. And TikTok last night, I didn't mean to keep you hanging. I, you know, the Lord gave me a message late and then I finally got on there and did it and I was waiting for it to upload and it took forever to upload. So I fell asleep as I was uploading it. Um, and so then I woke up at like 4 a.m. and realized that I didn't upload the second part. So then I did that and um, whew, I was tired. I just came home and <clears throat> took a cat nap. I just woke up, so excuse the mess. I slept in my clothes, that's how tired I was. But I think time is just getting short, guys, because you know, the Lord gave me another message today when I was out doing my errands. And I don't know why he's giving me a message every day other than I think the time is really, really short and he's trying to wake people up. And I feel his anger a little more, you know, in this message. Um, always take everything to Jesus. You know, I claim that he came to earth as a man in the flesh and he died on the cross and he rose three days later. Um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam people. Okay, I'm going to get through this and then I got to go get dog food for my doggies. <clears throat> March 28th, 2023. Jeremiah 111. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Ecclesiastes 3, 7, a time to fear, I'm sorry, a time to tear and a time, see, I'm, you can tell I'm tired, a time to tear and a time to sue, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, or maybe it's a time to tear, I don't know, I think it's, okay, <laughs> I'll wake up. Job 2, 5, but stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and he will surely curse you to your face. Ephesians 1, 6, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Okay, and here's the message. My child, destruction is coming. Look up, redemption draws nigh. Do you feel me close to you, pouring my spirit out on all flesh? Do you feel that tug in your heart? That is me. Do you feel my presence? I'm trying to wake you up. I'm trying to save you. Doors closing. Do you know me? Do I know you? Have you prayed to me? Have you asked for my forgiveness? Why are you denying me, child? Your soul is in my hands and you still reject me. Earthquakes tenfold over eight coming soon. The world is perishing. Do you want to go with it? Your evil desires haunts your soul. You're foolish and in denial, and I am the only one who can save you from this foolishness. You blasphemous child. How dare you scoff at your neighbor? Don't you know I created all of you? We are all one spirit. I told you they mock everything I have created. Everything they do is upside down to try and create doubt and confusion in your mind. But I created you and I can make you whole again. Ask your gods, the one you pray to, to help you. Your idols won't save you. You seek fire and brimstone. Wisconsin fire coming. They will need water also. New Jersey train tracks break and train derails. The shaking is coming. You still doubt my prophets? Cyclones coming to south of Georgia. East Coast will get hit. New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Myrtle Beach, Maryland, Washington, D.C., they will see cyclones. I am making my presence known. Can you feel my presence or are you still going to doubt me? Oh, my wicked child, oh, how I wish you would just seek me and feel the love that I have for you. You are so broken and lost and you are weary, but you will not come to me and let me give you rest. You choose to ignore my warnings instead of heeding them. My wrath no man has seen and you don't want to stay behind for it. No Christian can survive the great tribulation unless I have sealed them with my protection. Oh, you degenerate fools, you will perish where you stand. If you wish to seek me and believe me, I will forgive you and give you another chance. Repent and lay down your idols and I will save you. I am gentle and loving, but I am also a wrathful God and I will not be mocked. <laughs> All right, well, someone's pissed off God today. <laughs> Ephesians 2, 5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. Isaiah 9, 7, 
of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it will judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Zechariah 9, 6. Say to all the people of the land and to the priests, when you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seven months during those 70 years, did you really fast for me? For me? Deuteronomy 12, 8. You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. Leviticus 3, 7. If he offers a lamb as his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. Leviticus 4, 5. Then the anointed priest shall take some of the bull's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of meeting. Philippians 2, 9. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Colossians 1, 4. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. 1 Thessalonians 3, 8. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. 1 Timothy 2, 7. For which I was appointed a preacher and apostle. I'm speaking the truth in Christ and not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. John 5, 9. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And that day was the Sabbath. John 5, 11. He answered them. He who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. Here's another message. <clears throat> my child, they have twisted my words. They made what was good evil. My signs in heavens, they turned them upside down. They turned my original signs from the beginning and converted them to sorcery and witchcraft. Oh, children, you're full of pride and arrogance and you will perish for those reasons. The Pharisees were full of pride and arrogance, but they didn't have any love in their hearts. They were all about what they could get and how they looked to the people. Have you done what I've told you to do? Were you obedient to me or were you worried about what your neighbor would think? <clears throat> this world is passing by and if you're stuck in it you will burn in it fire and brimstone is what you seek my patience is running out the ones who do not believe will perish and will face my wrath my church will escape my wrath they have endured to the end by not worshiping lucifer don't twist my words ask the holy spirit to guide you and show you truth do not lean on your own understanding of what my word means your knowledge will never equal to the amount of what the holy spirit can tell you my children you will perish for your lack of knowledge Colossians 2.11 <clears throat> In him you are also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Jeremiah 9.11 and I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a den of jackals, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Leviticus 4, 6, the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the sanctuary. James 1, 7, for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Esther 5, 8, for uh, if I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, and let the king and Hammon come to the banquet, which I will repair for them, and tomorrow I will do as the king has said. Ezra 2, 3. The people of, of Parash, 2,172. Jude 1, 4. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the Lord. Only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Habakkuk 1 9. They all come for violence. Their faces are set like the east wind. They gather captives like sand. Luke 2 9. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. <clears throat> 1 Peter 3 8. Finally, all of you will be one mind, having compassion for one another, love as brothers, be tender hearted, be courteous. And I'm done. Okay, guys. If you don't know Jesus, just please ask him to come into your life, you know, repent from your sins, change your mind about not believing him and give him your heart and he, and he will save you guys. He will forgive you. Sorry, it was a long night and I'm just exhausted. So, um, I'm going to try to go to bed early tonight, but I'll try to get to all the comments and, and the hundreds of emails, <laughs> but I'll get there. I love you guys. You have a a blessed night and keep looking at the Jesus because he loves you.